How you doing guys? Today we're going to be talking a lot about No Man's Sky. We're going to be talking about Emily and the ARG and we're going to be talking a little bit about the Atlas 4 passes and uh, the next update when, you know, the, the things are getting pretty close. Uh, so we got to start, uh, you know, mentally preparing for another exhausting, maybe, maybe, maybe they're just going to give us, an, you know, I, I, I don't know, maybe there's nothing. Um, but Emily did say she'd be back, but we're going to talk about that. And uh, we're also going to be taking a look at some uh, some of you guys' uh, awesome pictures that Hello Games has retweeted. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at uh, Ray Rods, uh, who's getting ready to come out with this amazing mod pack uh, that he's overhauling. And uh, we're going to be taking a look at some of the pictures from it and uh, some of the details about it. Uh, so it's some pretty exciting stuff. We're also going to be taking a look at a, a, a package. It, well, it's not a, it's not a tape or anything uh, m mysterious. What well, is mysterious? But uh, somebody received a autograph poster uh, from Hello Games. So stuff's moving in the mail again. Um, we'll, so we're going to talk a little bit about that and more here on Cobra TV. All right. So first of all, let's go ahead and talk about uh, the next update, and we're, let's talk about. Um, some, some, something weird that happened. A gentleman by the name of Blake Patterson posted on the No Man's Sky Facebook group and probably read it, uh, of a picture of a poster that is autographed by Hello Games. What's weird about this is in the center, there's a post-it note instead of it being written on the poster, like the one that I got sent, uh, it's, it's written on the poster and uh, the, the autographs, though, are legit because I, I checked them versus the one that I got, and they're all in the same place, which is kind of cool, uh, but there's slight variations in them, so it's it's uh, definitely not like a photocopy of anybody's, uh, you know, it, it, these are real signatures is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so Hello Games has sent out something uh, to Blake. I'm not sure if Blake is a Reddit moderator or, um, or some uh, community leader somewhere. Uh, but congratulations, Blake, on getting that. It does confuse me a little bit with the uh, post-it note being in the center. Uh, but the post-it note reads, uh, Thank you for all of your support and love from everyone at Hello Games. Um, yeah, so this one's got me a little confused. Uh, but he said, uh, What a true thrill it was to find in the mail today. FYI, I do not believe this is the Atlas Pass V4. Uh, they had my address, address from something previous. What swell folks that crew is. Um, so, yeah, a little bit weird. A little bit weird. But it's, it's uh, you know, it, this is actually legit. And there's, there's movement going on again. Uh, so, we have um, a lot of things. We have Emily. Let's go ahead and play a clip from Emily real quick about when she was saying that she'd be back. And we're going to talk a little bit about, uh, speculate on what she means by that. I'll be gone for a little while. There's a lot of work to do, and I'm the only one that can do it. But I didn't want to leave you hanging without saying goodbye. You've made me who I am now, and I owe you that. But don't think this is goodbye, goodbye. This is more like a see you later. We'll see each other again. Remember, I know what happens next. Okay, so as we all know, that the ARG Waking Titan was the origin story for No Man's Sky. It's how everything came to be uh, in, in No Man's Sky, the universe, everything. It's all simulation, and she's, uh, you know, a computer program that, um, you know, Loop 16 that was created, and we willed her into existence um, during uh, the Mr. Noodles live stream. So we willed her into existence. And we, uh, so, so we became literally all of us participating in part of the, uh, Waking Titan ARG. We became the origin of No Man's Sky. We are the, the we were the CSD, uh, the Citizen Science Division and live on Twitch. Um, we willed her into existence and skip ahead. I don't know how long. And, uh, Emily ends up creating a simulation. So with her saying that she she will be back my speculation is is she talking about the ARG like uh she's not she said she's not going to be gone for long and uh, we'll see her again so are is she talking about uh you know uh, uh you know an ongoing ARG that's going to come out for 1.4 or is she saying you know because this is an origin and that was part of the origin story that we'll see her again meaning in the game when the update hits um so I'm torn between the two. I, I don't, I'm not really sure exactly what she means, 
But um, with the Atlas level, uh, with the Atlas V4 passes that we're supposed to be getting in the mail, 10,000, but I believe it's going to be more than 10,000 people, they have classes on them. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and give out mine because I think it's, well, it's pretty public. HG16 is mine. I'm curious to know what your guys' is. And what I think is uh, exciting about this is that they, Anna Shell, who is the puppet master over at Allison Smith, said that these classes mean something. So this is not only a collectible. It probably is a collectible for us, and uh, but it's not only a collectible because the classes are not random and they actually mean something. Um, I haven't found anything in the game that, you know, you could, uh, use a, a V4 pass for. Um, so I, unless I've missed something on a channel, I don't think I did. I, I really feel like this is, uh, a part of an, uh, the, uh, the, an ARG for the next update. I'm not sure. I could be wrong. A couple other in interesting things to note is one of our subscribers here, um, went to Allison Smith, knocked on the door, and he came in and took a picture with Bob uh, and some others and stood in the same room that Emily was making those vlogs from. So I thought that was pretty cool. And they were very talkative about everything. But when he, anytime he asked about, so uh, what are you guys going to do in the future? Like, uh, is the ARG over? They would not answer the guy. They would not answer him. So um, <laughs> he left out of there. Uh, feeling like 100% that the ARG is not over since they wouldn't answer anything. Another interesting thing to talk about is, or to think about, is that um, Anna Shell also said that we made the wrong decision when we willed, uh, allowed Emily to live. And when we, he said that they had another ending planned. And uh, so everybody started asking, what's the other ending? What, what, how is this supposed to end? And he asked, uh, he, he responded by saying, we'll have to ask our client if we're allowed to disclose that, or maybe they can. By saying that, um, I don't know if that just proves that there might not be a continuing of the ARG, so, you know, because if he's willing to say that there is another, was another alternate, alternate ending, and, and uh, they would disclose it if they were allowed, I don't know if that... <laughs> Uh, discredits the more ARG because then that would just be giving stuff away or if it wouldn't matter because you know that we chose what we chose and you know there's no going back I, I, I don't know but it is interesting to know that we had another alternate ending and um, so I mean but come on Emily Emily's cool man why not will her into existence why 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 for the right answer to be no that's that's I don't like that it's not cool also, the update uh, hit us, you know, around the anniversary of No Man's Sky, which puts us for an update, uh, typically from what we've seen from Hello Games uh, around November, December. But I wonder if it's, uh, you know, such so close to the end of the year, November, December, I wonder if they would wait for a New Year's celebration, a New Year's update. Um, not sure. Uh, that is a possibility. So we can, I, my guess is we're going to see an, uh, a, a, an update either November uh, December or in January. And, you know, the Atlas Level 4 pass is kind of strange because when the ARG ended and uh, Emily said that she'd be back, um, there were, uh, Anna Shell actually said um, uh, they were sending off the uh, the supplies to the printing company to make the, um, uh, the Atlas Level uh, 4 passes, the V4 passes. So, that was right when it ended. And then recently, about two or three weeks ago, uh, you know, talk uh, of people that were involved in ARG are starting to talk about how uh, they're, in, they're they're sending off the, the supplies to the production company now and that there was a slight hiccup. Uh, so, um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I My guess, and I could be wrong, is that we're going to see more ARG as soon as we get the level four passes. And that, uh, you know, we're possibly going to be playing another ARG while we wait for while we wait for December or January's update. Um, that's my guess. That's what I'm putting down. Uh, so yeah, I guess we got to wait, wait and see what happens. But um, on October 17th, which is not too long ago, Sean Murray tweeted, what a journey, you guys. Congrats at No Man's Sky the Game for being subreddit of the day. Keeping fingers crossed for you next are No Man's High. Um, so, you know, Sean Murray's active. Sean Murray tweeted out something. 
You know, that's something easily that uh, the company's Twitter could have tweeted out, you know, um, uh, at the Hello Games Twitter. But uh, Sean Murray tweeted that out, so he's active. I, It's it's a possibility that it's getting close. Um, that's it. I'm putting in my guess. You know, when the Atlas V4 passes come in, I, I, ARG is going to kick back up for the next update. I don't know if they're going to do this for every update. It'd be kind of cool. Um, I imagine it'd be kind of expensive for them, but they probably paid and uh you know allison smith a certain amount of money for a contract or something like that and maybe that uh, they haven't used it all um maybe they haven't used all their money's worth um from allison smith or maybe they have plans to break this and the other update into two pieces um as far as you know update speculation and things like that uh i i really feel like in this update we're gonna see improvement with the train like we always do um and uh with every major update and i really think this update's going to rely heavily on the co-op uh portion of no man's sky i really feel like uh we're we're not going to get the you know we're going to get actual uh characters um you know avatars instead of seeing the wisps uh because they did say that this is the beginning in cooperative gameplay um or just the start of cooperative gameplay and they got a long way to go and and so i really feel like we're going to see a lot of that they're also hiring right now they're they're hiring a v uh, vf a, a visual effects artist and uh so that's interesting too and they also have a lot of guys from lion's head lion head uh studios um peter molyneux's old uh, d uh old company and no jokes no jokes guys no jokes um so <laughs> i'm definitely looking forward to the atlas uh, v4 passes um super excited for that Let's see, what else do I want to talk about? All right, Rayrod, Rayrod. So Rayrod's got this massive mod getting ready to come out. I mean, this guy's working his butt off, and I want to talk a little bit about his mod and the, you know, what he's, uh, you know, what he's working on. Uh, he gave me, sent me a private message. I'm pretty sure that uh, this is public knowledge, and I'm pretty sure that he'd be okay with me uh, reading a little bit of this. Um, I'm really excited about it. I, I think. I think he advertises this a lot. So, I mean, he's got pictures up on uh, IMGUR. Uh, so, we're going to take a look at some of those pictures while we're reading this. Uh, but he said, this modded album is uh, is of my work, uh, work in progress, version 10 update of my mod called No Man's Sky Ray Rod Overhaul. These are some uh, planets I found, though, as a starter. I'm aiming for a thousand handcrafted procedural biomes with various rules and algorithms. I'm at around 902 so far. Every version of No Man's Sky is also in here. Every version of No Man's Sky is also in here. Um, there's exploration incentive and a need to travel the galaxy in casual play. I usually force specific biome to the type I'm making when I'm making it for quick hand crafting. Um, all of the 2016 uh, two alternate 2016 versions, Foundation, Pathfinder, Atlas Rises, uh, Darkonia City Biomes added at request. Um, every variation of uh, Shaidika's Biomes plus custom variations I made of his, used with permission. Sorry if I butchered your name. Uh, Civilizations by Red Moss. Red Moss? Uh, Civilizations by Red Moss imported with permission. Unused Biomes by Hello Games. Default Unused Biomes by Hello Games. Uh, default Atlas Rises uh, Biomes, I'm losing my place here, and a bunch of other biomes that I custom made is in here right now, including an unused underwater biome, rare, unused uh, level 1 objects, default level 1 object alterations, various rare objects, a cross between 2016 Pathfinder Atlas Rises spawn density placements, uh, modded building replace or uh, modded building placements and cave biomes plus a few unused biomes at the moment plus lots of other good stuff every version of no man's sky in one the mod also has underwater biomes from all versions included unused water biomes 2016 2016 alt modded style 2016 alt modded style uh, unused style unused rainforest style Foundation Pathfinder and Atlas Rises version of the game uh, has like four different kinds of underwater uh, biomes depending on the low, mid, full, or uh, full safe biome types. So that's like 32 underwater biomes. Wow! 
this dude is just uh, some awesome dude just sitting at home yeah, <laughs> doing stuff to the game that is just unimaginable. Hello Games needs to hire you, Ray Rod. Um, you're an amazing guy, dude. Amazing guy. And uh, you can find his stuff over at Nexus Mods and... Um, you know, just type in Ray Rod Mods on Google and you'll, you'll, you'll get them. Uh, so that's interesting. Interesting. Thank you, Ray Rod. Thank you very much. Uh, I want to go over and uh, take a look at uh, some of the tweets, the retweets that Hello Games has been doing of your, your awesome pictures that you guys have. And uh, let's see here. We're not going to go over a whole lot. Uh, you know, just want to look at a few of these because they're so amazing, guys. And you guys are, you guys are awesome. Well, first here we got uh, Chris Daru who's got some awesome landscape shots um, with some uh, great lighting effect. Good job there. Uh, Simran's got some awesome pictures here with uh, ship in space. And then we've got um, Isolation. I'm going to butcher so many people's names. Isolation with hot rain. That is an amazing picture. Freaking amazing. Uh, then <laughs> there's Sean Murray's uh, tweet. Hello Games retweeted. Um, then we got Bubble Walker. Someone had taken a picture just at the right time to make it look like this walker is in a bubble. Very awesome picture. Very awesome. Uh, and that was by that was by Predator Hunter. Uh, Ookie Spooky. <laughs> I love these names. Um, this is easy to say. I've never followed the crowd. And he's got a picture of a ship. Very cool picture just above the atmosphere of a planet. And he's going one way and the other ships are going the other. Um, it's very cool indeed. Uh, then we got, let's see, we got, uh, Andy cry. Andy, we got Andy, uh, only five more days until the Renaissance cup tracks are officially locked in. So that's a cool picture of his, uh, his little Roamer right there. And then we got cosmic wildlife speed is surely going to kill me one day. It just needs to catch up first. <laughs> um, pilot of the comet chaser. That is an amazing picture. Look at that picture. That is just awesome. Uh, we got Travel Scrapbook, who uh, posted a picture of Adventure is Waiting. You need to only find it. And he's going uh, through that uh, those little things there that you can interact with in the game. Uh, Hello Games, uh, they tweeted something there. Um, it's about patch 1.38. Uh, made a small city in No Man's Sky. What? That's cool. Uh, take a look at that. That's amazing. All right, good job, Alejandro. Uh, don't kill me. Um, and they tweeted out there, there's uh, something there. Uh, let's see, the fan art of No Man's Guy, awesome. So, okay, ooh, okay, we got to look at this guy. Okay, so I guess that's, hmm, look at that. It's got some lights on the back of it. Uh, I think I've seen a multi-tool on here. Yes, look at that. A multi-tool in real life. I'm telling you guys, we need to do a No Man's Sky Con. We need to get on the ball and start planning a No Man's Sky Con because I could see tons of, uh, you know, like uh, cosplay, you know, dressing up as a Corvax or some of the alien wildlife, uh, someone dressing up as a, a, a lasher plant and just uh, whipping people with the top of it. You know what I mean? <laughs> He's going to get beat up. Uh, so, yeah, cool, cool stuff here. Look at the lighting on the base there. That's cool. Um Another shot there of the uh, multi-tool. And who was this from? This was from um, The Art of Video Games. Awesome, dude. Very good work. Very good work. Kyle Cover, our friend Kyle Cover, ended up getting retweeted beyond the event horizon. If you haven't heard of Kyle Cover, go check him out, guys. Uh, let's see. Diary of a Spaceman. Look at these pictures. Wow. Oh, man, that is truly amazing. Truly amazing. Um, and that was by, uh, yeah, Diary of a Spaceman, Mark Peters. Ooh, look at this. Painted this No Man's Sky inspired picture. Wait, that is amazing. You could sell that. I guarantee you people would buy that. Great job, Mark. Great job. Uh, NMS Quest, uh, welcome to your final quest. We've established a SAR system just for you. Tweet your pictures and include Legacy Quest more below. All right, so that's cool. Um, here's an acrylic. Wow, look at this. Here's an acrylic painting of a home uh, planet by um, Solverson. Wow. Of 
Great work, Solverson. Great work. That is just amazing. People are so talented. I swear. Another one from Chris Daru. He gets uh, retweeted quite a bit. Uh, no Man's Sky snaps. Look at this. Look at this Diplo. Look at this guy. What a chin on that dude, huh? All right. So let's see. <laughs> um, 65 Days of Static. Uh, they retweeted something from them. Um, that's weird. Uh, let's see. Then we got some art here. The Art of Video Games again. Um, got some cool stuff here. Let's check this out. All right. Amazing. Oh, look at that picture. That's that's like that's like me playing survival. I just that's that's the give up. The give up. I give up. You know, I sit down and uh, just I don't know. Give up. Okay. Good picture. Good picture. Ooh, look at that. That's amazing. Freaking awesome. All right. Good artwork, guys. Whoever's responsible for this artwork. Good, good job. Um, <laughs> look at this. Couldn't tell if I interrupted a high-flying pro wrestler move or the old jump and I'll catch you prank. Wait, 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 wait. Let's check this out. <laughs> look at these guys down here. That is awesome. The old ju <laughs> jump and I'll catch you prank. Oh my god, that is funny. That is truly funny. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and that was tweeted. Uh, uh, that was done by Stripes by NW. Stripes by NW's got some more pictures on here. So we're gonna go ahead and get off uh, now. I, I want to thank the pa my Patreon supporters for all of your uh, contributions to Cobra TV. It is amazing, and um, uh, the the other ways that people can support the channel is by you know just simply subscribing and being a Cobro, and that supports the channel is just as much. Um, so thank you guys. Thank you for all of your support. Um, we're going to be get. I'm going to get those new shirts done probably tomorrow and have the new shirts up, um, with, uh, the correct design this time. And I'm sorry for anybody that purchased the shirts before that had uh, too big of a logo on it. Um, never did that kind of thing before. I, you know, messed up. I'm sorry. Um, and, but I think that even though I think you guys can adjust it yourself before you purchase it, I think you can make it bigger or smaller or something like that. But uh, we're going to get those up probably tomorrow. But as always, I love you guys. I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. I'm excited about what's going to happen here soon. Hopefully it's soon. It's got to be soon. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Until next time.